there. Um, I'd probably encourage you to put them, write, rewrite them as rational powers. It might, it's probably just easier, be consistent that way. In this particular problem, you don't really have to. You can solve it in radical form. But uh, let's say we put each of these radicals into the rational power form. So power of one half is equivalent to square root. And now you can solve it, again, either as a complex fraction that it's written in, or by factoring. If you solve this as a complex fraction, find your LCD. So we need a factor of 1 and a factor of 2x minus 1 to the 1 half power. So here's our LCD. We take our numerator of the first fraction, 2x minus 1 to the 1 half, and we're going to multiply that by the missing LCD factor from its denominator. It's missing this whole thing. So again, it's identical base, so we add the powers. 1 half plus 1 half is equivalent to 1. So we're just going to be left with this expression 2x minus 1. And then minus the next fraction's numerator, x plus 2, times the missing LCD factor from its denominator. Is it missing anything? No. So we leave it just as that. What we can now do is distribute our negative. We get a negative x minus 2. The 2x minus 1 is going to stay. Combining like terms, 2x minus x gives you an x. Negative 1 minus 2 gives you a negative 3. This is all over 2x minus 1 to the 1 half power. So here is our numerator completely simplified as one fraction. And so the next step would be to divide by 2x minus 1. Well, dividing by that is equivalent to multiplying by its reciprocal. Move the 1 up, the 2x minus 1 down. And now your final answer is solved by just multiplying across. You get an x minus 3 in the numerator. You have a common base right here, so we can, when we're multiplying exponents with the same base, you add their powers, so 1 half and 2 halves, or 1, is equal to 3 halves.